In this video, I'm going to um, do a, I guess you could call it an unboxing or an opening of a Daniel Defense uh, buffer tube assembly and stock. This is basically how you uh, get this from Daniel Defense. They uh, ship this in this large Ziploc bag with the uh, paper insert in it and it says Daniel Defense stock assembly and um, it uh, can't probably see much with the light reflecting off the bag so I'm going to remove it from the bag I just wanted you guys to see what it looks like when you actually get it and and how they ship it it's it's I don't it's not really designed for for POP packaging but I guess you know if you had a retail shop but you could punch a hole in the bag and you know hang it on the wall or whatever so I'll take it out and we'll take a look at it okay this uh, heavy duty piece of paper that ships with the stock uh, just says Daniel Defense rear stock assembly is the same assembly found on the popular DDXV rifle includes mil spec carbine stock five position mil spec receiver assembly receiver end plate castle nut carbine H buffer assembly carbine buffer spring and says rear stock assembly part number DD-09044 manufacturer number 28-088-09044 uh, the rear side just shows the uh, Daniel Defense part number and the individual parts. So that's the piece of paper and let's take a look at the actual uh, assembly. So basically it ships with your standard uh, M4 type uh, rear stock uh, this is the same type of stock you can get from you know other companies like like Spikes and and Colt and such. Uh, hole in the top to uh, um, so you can see the uh, markings on the buffer tube. Except the buffer tube doesn't have any markings, so there's no Daniel Defense logo stamped on here. I mean, when you get you get one of these from Spikes, it it normally has a, uh, a logo. So this doesn't have a logo. It's real generic in nature. Um, yeah, it's just one of those standard uh, inexpensive stocks, uh, nothing to write home about. And let's see, this looks like a stainless steel, probably a 17-7 uh, buffer spring. Now one thing nice about this kit is um, most kits you buy like this, they come with a carbine weight buffer. So, you know, you end up having to throw the buffer away uh, and get a heavier buffer. Now this one actually ships with an H buffer. So, um, this is nice. So, I mean, this is, this is um, you know, this is definitely usable right out of the bat, or right out of the gate, you know. So if you've got a, a mid-length gas system or if you've got a carbine length gas system, this H buffer is going to work out great for you. Um, so that's really that's really a plus. Uh, let me take this stock. The stock uh, again. There's really no rubber padding on the back of the stock here. Um, yeah, it's it's just a standard uh, inexpensive M4 stock. I mean, it, it'll get the job done. Uh, there, there. I should notice it doesn't appear to be a prov any type of provision for a sling swivel, uh, you know, or a QD, uh, unless that happens to be. You know, I guess, yeah, I don't think that's it. I'm not sure what that is, but um, looks like there's a one hole right there that you could, uh, you know, you could thread a, a sling through there. But there's there's no hole for a sling swivel or QD swivel. Um. The instructions I read off previously said this was a five position uh, mill stock uh, buffer tube. Um, it looks to me like it's a six position. There's six holes right there. Um, 
From what I can tell, this looks like a, a T775, T6 aluminum with a dry film lube. Uh, it's a mil spec. Uh, castle nut. Not much you can really say about a castle nut. Um, threads seem to be nice. And we have a Um, end plate. Um, this end plate has a hole in it and I don't know if that hole is designed for a QD swivel or not. I don't believe the information said anything about that. No, actually the, the piece of paper shows a receiver end plate uh, with no hole in it actually. So I've, I've seen end plates like this that will accept a QD swivel, um, so I, I don't know if that's applicable to this. It kind of looks like it, but I'll, I don't have a QD swivel here to test, but I'll, I'll definitely test and I'll, I'll put in the description if a QD swivel will actually pop in there and, and, and stay. Uh, if it does, that's great, because now we have a, uh, we have a sling point here, so you don't have to I know I don't know about you guys, but you know when I get a kit like this, and I always end up throwing these out, and I put a, a Magpul ASP or something from Troy. So this is always kind of just a disposable item because I always I'm always upgrading it because that's where I like to attach my sling. So um, this looks good. It's lightweight. Uh, buffer tube looks good. Uh, mil spec. Um, you know everything's great here. Um, now, when we compare this, uh, I don't actually have a Spikes buffer tube kit here, right in front of me, but I do have a Spikes lower receiver. Um, it's obviously completely assembled, but if we uh, if you take a look, um, you'll see that the Spikes buffer tube is kind of a dark gray in color and the Daniel Defense is um, a black so the Daniel Defense actually matches the Spikes lower receiver better than the Spikes buffer tube does and I think uh, you might if you've watched my other videos you've heard me complain about uh, these dark gray buffer tubes uh, not matching the the rest of the components of the rifle and uh, this Daniel Defense one is, is nice and black. Um, I've seen a few uh, Palmetto State Armory buffer tubes that are dark black like this also but I've also seen some that are uh, you know a grayish color like that as well. So this is nice that this is a nice dark black because it matches everything with uh, you know your lower receiver and your upper receiver. That's one of the areas where I think Spikes Tactical falls short with their, their buffer tube kit uh, is, the, is in the coloring. Um, I mean really, uh, how difficult is it to um, make a, a dark black buffer tube that, that matches your, your upper receiver and your lower receiver? It's not difficult at all. Uh, so this Daniel Defense um, buffer tube kit, the, the reason I'm reviewing this um, is um, for several reasons it it runs about the same amount of money as the spikes tactical and the spikes tactical um, spikes tactical does not include um, this type of an end plate and it doesn't include a stock so for the same amount of money you're getting a, a dark black buffer tube assembly. You're getting an end plate which appears that it might take a, a QD sling attachment. And uh, you get a uh, uh, stock and the H buffer for the same amount of money. Um, so you're getting, you're getting a little bit more than what you get with the Spikes Tactical Buffer Tube Kit. Now on the other hand, 
the Spikes Tactical Buffer Tube Kit comes with the Tungsten filled uh, STT2 buffer which is a bit heavier than this H buffer and of, of course the the tungsten doesn't doesn't have the uh, the weights inside of it so it, it's it's a bit quieter than this so this is definitely a, a viable option if you're building a, a, a high quality AR um, you know for roughly the same amount of money 70 75 dollar price range somewhere right around there you can actually get this kit and uh, with a couple of extras uh, that's assuming of course you plan you you are uh, going to use this stock and and not go with a you know a magpul or or a um, uh, a b5 or, or something like that and if you are going to swap it out these are always um, in demand. You can always, you know, turn around and sell this uh, stock and recoup some of your money. So I think it's definitely a good buy. Uh, all good mil spec components comes with the H buffer. Uh, good quality kit, and I'm looking forward I'm, uh, to using uh, one of these Daniel Defense kits in uh, an upcoming rifle build. So. I think that's going to um, that's going to about cover this particular kit. Uh, this is more or less just a, kind of an unpackaging and uh, a discussion of, of my observations, taking it out of the package. Uh, I like everything I see so far, and I think it's uh, you know you get a great value for your money with this kit. All right, as a last uh, follow up on the Daniel Defense. Uh, buffer tube review. Um, I went ahead and uh, grabbed a, a QD swivel and it does fit uh, this end plate. Um, that's what it's designed for. So um, definitely um, definitely a very nice um, uh, addition to that particular buffer tube kit is uh, the inclusion of a end plate that accepts a, uh, a QD uh, sl sling swivel mount. So